Hey everyone, Todd Webb here again with you. I'm going to be showing off my Motu Origins collection today. Not quite a room tour. I did not want to go through my whole room and show how I had these displayed because it's such a mess. So I decided to get everything together here in one pile and kind of go over figure by figure, run through as quick as I can, show you what I got. About 99% of the collection, only missing a couple little things I'll talk about later, but um, yeah, real quick, just kind of want to do a little introduction I've never done, reason I collect Motu and why Motu Origins is my main line. I have the nostalgia there um, from when I was a kid. I wasn't quite old enough when Motu first came out, I mean, I would what was until later on to after the line was dead I was even around to start collecting He-Man and get into it so all I knew was reruns of the Filmation cartoon and whatever He-Man I could pick up at swap meets, yard sales, Goodwill so I never had complete really anything all the accessories, packaging, mini comics, Castle Grayskull was pretty much an empty shell for me but it was just something that I loved and it's my first toy line that I remember falling in love with as a kid. I just, every character stood out to me. It was just something about the features, the big bulkiness. So yeah, later on in life I realized that I wanted to collect toys. I did for a long time, Star Wars and stuff, and then kind of sold off all my collection. Then came 2020, I ended up uh, becoming sober, quit drinking, and was trying to find something to do with my time. And about a month later, pandemic happened, and a little after that, I found out about Motu Origins. So I thought this would be a great way for me to use, substitute the time that I spent before on habits and <laughs> really a better way to spend money. I wouldn't say cheaper, but fair use of my time and money and so Motu and the community and everything that I've been learning and been involved in the last three years pretty much helped save my life from kind of a disastrous point where I was at. But enough about all that, um, going to get into this collection, I'm going to try and take this camera mobile and show you guys exactly what I got going. So we'll start off here with the stars of the show. He-Man Skeletor. Now it's not the first head sculpt we got. We got that ugly head sculpt, I think, over here on this uh, Battle Armor He-Man. But this is how I want my main ones displayed, Skeletor and He-Man, with that perfect look. Now I'm going to try and get up and around here. Kind of went backwards from how I had them on shelf, so we got Sun Man and everything. They were kind of in the back of it where I had everything so they're in the front here but kind of tried to put everything together so here are the Sun Man figures both versions we got um, let's see here we got Digentino Boltman let's see here Nin oh I don't want to say Ninja uh, it's the Space Sumo the Digentino oh, I'm sorry uh Duplico, Duplico that everybody's trying to get right now. I was lucky enough to get it from Mattel Creations when it popped up there right away. Hypno. And I think that's it for Sun Man for now. Back here I kind of got into grouping together variations. I got the two evil lens, our original yellow one, 2000X. Two different type of Beastmen. The LOP version. And regular Beastman. I, I got that helmet from the Masterverse Beastman. I like the look, how it looks on him. Both our Stratos, our original <laughs> mini comic naked Stratos. If you don't have him, there's something wrong with you. I got some extra accessories. I got uh, Etsy to throw on him. I think it makes him look a lot better. Both our Mermans, the Lords of Power and then the original there and there. And Robotos, again, mini comic, regular Roboto. Mini comic, Trapjaw, our regular Trapjaw. 
Cronus back there. Another figure you gotta have. Then some variations of Skeletor. There's Snake Armor Skeletor. Keldor back here. Battle Armor Skeletor. Terra Claw Skeletor. 2000X Skeletor. And I got some Snake Men up here in the front. Start over here, I guess. Snake Men Tila. Two of the Snake Troopers. Uh, both the Cobra Cons. The Mattel Creations one over here with the hood up. Uh, Camo Con. You know, regular Cobra Con. My favorite right there. Tongue Lasher. He really came out great. A lot better than I was expecting. Haratlor, which I first time I've got him to actually stand up the way I wanted. Speaking of standing up, I can't believe all these guys stood up on first take for me. I didn't <laughs> knock anything down, put him up, and I'm just amazed by that. And then King Hiss, I want a second one of him so I could do the second display of him with all the snake snake parts out, but I set him up like that. Be a little easier for the vid. Some He-Man variations. You got Snake Armor He-Man. Our 2000X He-Man. Battle Armor He-Man. Flying Fist He-Man with the Vac Metal. Thunder Punch He-Man. In case I skip him, there's 2000X Randor. He's just kind of in the middle of everything here. He didn't really have a place. And some of our Eternian Guards. I think back here I kind of tried to put some royal family together. Got Adam, Prince Adam. Uh, my custom King Grace call back there. She-Ra, again with some parts that I got from Etsy. Our Tila, they came with the Zor. Got Zor over here in that two-pack. And her father, Man at Arms, and her mother, the Sorceress. Let's see, I'll get back. I've got some guys hidden back in here. Maybe let's see if I can turn on a little more light. Got fist on clamp together. They always got to be together. Our snout spout. Mecha neck. In fact, there's Ram Man. I like to think he broke the elevator, so it's stuck on the bottom floor. And yeah, Zodak. I have Zodak in the chair. And Manny faces. Our space armor. They came with the uh, Secrets of Grace call pack. Our Coldar, another Mattel creation. Spirit of Grace call that came with that same uh, Spirits of Grace call pack. Our Temple of Darkness Sorceress. They came with Castle Grace call. She's got the old knees on this one. I actually have one with the new knees and also another Castle Grace called this one. It's the one with the new floors. I'm going to do a video about that later on. But these are a lot more sturdy. They have some like little stringers underneath that keep it more, uh, give it more support. We'll check out that later. Buzz off chilling back there. <laughs> I threw a frogmonger up here at the last minute because I almost forgot about him. So he got in where he could fit in. Then I think I'll have to come back to down here, get into some of our evil villains. That trap jaw here, ninja, jitsu, triclops, stinkor, anti attorney he man, scare glow, whiplash, faker. Oh, yeah. He's skeletor back there, he's locked in the Locked in the dungeon. Then we'll get into some horde members, I think, next. I have my uh, green goddess up here. I didn't know where to put her either. She just kind of fell in there. A horde up here by the throne. And a staff from Etsy I got. There's another uh, snout spout I kind of a custom I made. Uh, There's a story of horde was going to recruit. Snout spout to begin with. This is what I like to think he'd look like if he's stuck with the horde. A buzzsaw horde up back there. Our Mantena. Grizzlor. 
leech, mosquito, and some of the horde troopers back there. And I think I've gone over everything that I have here. Let's get a little wide view of this again. So I'm going to edit this and throw in some vehicles and stuff and then get into some stuff I still have in package. Some con exclusives and stuff and we'll just kind of go through those one by one. So I will be back with you guys in a sec. Alright, and we'll get back into the second part of this video now. Sorry about that first part. Um, if you guys noticed I was up a little close to the camera. Head's plugged up so you hear me breathing a lot. It sounds like I'm dying, which I feel like I am. But Real quick, I'll show you. I flipped the castles around so you can look at Castle Grace Call. And this is actually the Bat Cave from DC Primal from Funko. I got this kind of when the line came out just because I thought it was so cool. Paid a good little price for it, but some people may not have seen it before. It's got a little perch up here. You could place your Horde Act and stuff up there. I thought it was perfect for the Horde. I've seen a lot of people have got it and wanted it for myself. Let's see, I'm going to move the camera down. We're going to do some figures and mounts and stuff real quick run through them so I do have the battle cat and the panther both of them actually got the flock panther too but still in box we'll go through stuff I still have in box I haven't opened yet pretty soon because yeah a ton of that too just stuff I haven't got to yet got our sky sled one of the first things came out with Prince Adam that two pack and our Wind Raider. Okay. Wind Raider came out. Good sized vehicle. Awesome vehicle. I love having that as well. What else we can pull in? Let's go with. I'll have to move the camera up some. Stridor. Still hoping for the. Oh, I keep wanting to say Nightmare on. Um, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank right now. Night Stalker. It still doesn't sound right to me for some reason right now, but I'm just kind of in a hurry trying to get through this and get on to the next stuff. Our Ground Ripper, actually Road Ripper, but now for legal reasons, we're calling it Ground Ripper. Still cool, we don't have that old zip cord to make it go, but cool little figure came with that mecha neck. Another early one we got was the Land Shark. Always a cool vehicle. I'm surprised I had a lot of these vehicles when I was a kid. I guess just I was at the right place for swap meets and good wheels like I was talking about. Pick up a lot of this stuff. Never had this though. With that new Roton. You can tell it's one of my newer ones. It's not as dusty and pretty bright still. It's cool. Pick that up. I think that's kind of it vehicle wise. I do also have, it's not Origins, but vintage. I had to pick this up. Got me uh, intact battle bones. No pegs or anything broken on it, no clips broken. Still white as can be is just awesome. I love this thing as a kid. I had this, and I'm pretty sure pieces were broken when I got it back then. So to have one now complete is very awesome. So that's kind of it for vehicles and stuff. I'm going to get into some stuff I still have packaged, go over that real quick, and then we'll be finishing up. All right, go through, try and go through this as quick as possible. A couple of other things. Fred, I got this uh, Slammerai stone package. I haven't opened them. Looking to get a second one. It's because I know I'm being so white. It's going to get dusty and dirty. Go on to the Flock Panther I was talking about. I got a couple of those. I need to open one up. I got two of them. Might as well. There's a Flock Panther we got. It's a Walmart exclusive at the time. Battle Warriors pack. I haven't opened that up yet just because we already have the 
battle armor, I already have a battle cat, and then back metal stuff. I usually get two of all that, too, as well, just because of chipping and stuff. I like to have one package just in case. We'll get into a couple of Mattel Creations things. Got me a Wondar. Still waiting on a second one of him. I ended up getting a second one since I was able to. They came back out again. So we got that one dog. Throw him to the side. Oh. I got another space sumo. I'm not gonna open him. I don't know why I brought him out. He's just exactly the same as the one we have. Mini comic triclops. One of my prized possessions. Now I never felt the need to open them just because it's a little goofy to me. It does come with the cool glow in the dark ring. But just one of the only figures I didn't get two of as well. Every creation, everything that comes out, I get two of. And I just recently, <laughs> recently started getting rid of some of my Mattel creations I have two of. Realized I'm not keeping them to sell or anything. I just wanted to have one package. Kind of started off with the He Skeletor. I gave away to somebody who wanted one. Thought they deserved it. And then it kind of went on with the rest of them. So everything I have two of them kind of selling or giving away now. So then we have that. Ooh, that light's not good for this, but that TV four pack of E-Man. I know this is still for sale on Tell Creations. Nobody's really interested in that. I'm just gonna I'll show the two real quick. The two that matter. You got your new adventures, E-Man, which is pretty cool. They all come with these slide back, slide back cards on the back. I'm not going to get into all those. If you guys want me to check out any of this stuff later, I will, but this is already going to be a long enough video. I'm just kind of showing you what I have. And that new CGI one, those are the only two that are actually kind of neat. Well, the, I guess the filmation too, I'll bust him out. The 2000X one's just like the 2000X E-Man we already have. <laughs> yeah, everybody's favorite, this Filmation one with the, that goofy face. Yeah, there's a reason I haven't pulled him out the package and displayed him. I'm just kind of a completionist, so that's why I have that. Throw that off to the side. We'll keep it going with the Horde Four Pack that came out, PowerCon. Got that other Dark Face Grizzlor, blue Hordak, and the black and red Horde Troopers. Came in that cool case. I call it Lampshade, but it's got that awesome artwork on it. Up maybe a little. Yeah, it looks like a lampshade to me. I want to get a lamp and put it up on there. But yeah, that slime pit, we got teased with that a long time ago now looking at this. So yeah, that's going on. What's next? I think I will get into... This took me a long time to get. I missed out the very beginning of collecting Origins, so I missed the first con stuff. I had to go back and get it. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I am missing a couple things. The two things I'm missing are the two pack of Prince Adam and He Man that was, I believe, San Diego Comic Con, and then also the Rooted Hair She Ra. Which I don't know exactly what that was. One of the cons, I'm pretty sure San Diego as well, but did get my hands on this, the original five pack Lords of Power. Cost me a good pretty penny. But I finally got it. I was wanting it for the longest time. Check out inside real quick. Any mad arms. That light's so bright you can't see, but He-Man Skeletor, the Beast Man, the L.O.P. Merman. And it's not 
gonna close for me, so I'll just put it off to the side. Oh, there it goes. Some cool artwork on it. Get down to this last piece, I believe. Okay, up in my last piece. Pretty sure if I can get it out. Kind of became a holy grail now for a lot of people. This is a tough one to get on the secondary market. Fake or and duplicate. That Leo Faker is just something about them. Everybody wanted that. And then that duplicate, the only way to get them is in this. This is something I might have to unbox here in the future. But I think I'm pretty sure. That's the end of what I got. If you guys notice anything that I may be missing that just hasn't came out yet, I know there's some stuff I'm waiting on, Pile of Loop, Baby Bad Toy Store, and just stuff that hasn't came out yet. But if there's anything that's came out in the last few years that you didn't see here, let me know. I know I have it. It's just a lot of work going through and getting all this. But thank you for watching. I'm going to do some more videos here in the future, kind of some other little projects I got planned. But like, subscribe, um, leave me some comments. If, if there's anything you want to see more of, anything you think I missed, and thank you guys and have a great day.